80th Sturgis Motorcycle Rally made international headlines as one of the largest events during the pandemic. Well, now preparations are already underway for the 81st rally. It's still months away, but planning started a long time ago. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Sydney Thorson talks with city officials and businesses in town to see how they're getting ready. As one of the largest events in the U.S. during the COVID-19 pandemic, last year's Sturgis rally got a lot of attention. That included a report from the Centers of Disease Control showing how the rally became a coronavirus spreader. We made a concerted effort to, that we knew that people were coming to our town, but try to keep them as spread out as possible in last year's rally. Mayor Mark Carsonson says that last year, the 80th Sturgis rally saw about 445,000 attendees. We do use data to get there, uh, garbage haul, sales tax, DOT, traffic counters. We take some pictures to see kind of the density of the parking of motorcycles compared to previous years. So it isn't exact, but we do feel it's accurate. While that many rally goers is fairly typical, the mayor says the rally itself was not typical. The things that were different for our rally last year was the fact that we really had no city events within the rally. There wasn't gatherings at Rally Point that we put on and organized and created, but it's uh, last year's rally, we also made some changes with the way we sanitize and clean and we, uh, we didn't have our photo towers up and things like that that really gather people in, in areas. Jerry Cole is the rally director for the city. He says organizers learned a lot in 2020. Cole says some of those things will continue to be implemented. I think the sanitizing stations and the cleaning processes that we uh, worked up are probably going to be with us for a long time, for many years coming. Uh, they might look a little different than they did last year, but they're, they're going to be there in one way or another. Um, as trial and error last year went, went well, uh, however, we can improve on that. However, this year, Cole says the city is preparing for a more normal rally. It all depends on what happens over the next uh, 162 days. Right now, the rally crews are currently planning events, scheduling performances, and booking campsites and hospitality reservations. Hotel, uh, motel um, businesses are, are seeing about average uh, bookings uh, right now uh, for the um, pre-rally bookings. The campgrounds, however, are almost sold out. Robin Baldwin is a business owner in downtown Sturgis. She has been around for about 25 rallies, and she had never experienced one like the 80th. Uh, 2020 rally was uh, kind of an average rally comparatively to other years, which we were expecting, of course, a huge rally for the 80th. But um, we did see a few changes in sort of uh, traffic patterns. We didn't do as well um, inside stores as we did in our outside locations. Black Hills Rally and Gold staff continue to wear masks and have hand sanitizer available for anyone. They also offer service at their outside shops during the rally. However, Baldwin says she also learned a lot and feels ready for the 81st rally. Definitely a higher comfort level um, in dealing with it this year than last year with so many questions on what was right and what was wrong. So. Mayor Carsonson says the city will continue to monitor COVID-19 cases in the area and keep in contact with local and state health departments. But he says he does not see the Sturgis rally being canceled. People will be coming and it's our duty to make it safe and be ready for them and prepare as much as possible. Um, that's, that's the way we're approaching this, but it, it's, life will go on and, and we look forward to the 81st rally. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Sydney Thorson. The mayor of Sturgis says while he doesn't see the rally being canceled anytime soon, it is always a possibility, but planning will continue for now.